Hello again. Hello, everybody. Um, should be Brian today, but unfortunately, he's got remedial work to do in his workshop and a shed he's building, and the builders are in and the diggers are in, so he can't make it today. And he asked me to stand in for him. So you've got the pleasure of me, and you have the pleasure of, I can find it, pleasure of them. Hello. Welcome to Pete, welcome to Mark, welcome to Joe. Everyone. They're going to be my earworms today. And uh, going to keep you, hopefully, going to keep you occupied and have a bit of fun today. So, as I've only got two cameras, I will show you what I'm going to do today. If I just turn that down. We have a piece of view, crotch piece. We'll Check just do a little form there. out of it. A little form out of it. And um, we'll get rid of those earworms for now. They'll obviously keep you a, a fay with the chat and all the rest of it. We're going to cut it off about there, turn that down, make some sort of feature and hollow it out, see what happens. So hope you all enjoy and we'll get started. Turn the light on a bit. There we are. Right, so I'm just going to uh, I'm just going to cut the two ends off at the moment, and uh, that'll Go be on. nice Shall if they could. Read? I'll read it. Yeah, uh, the people that are in Terry, um, it's Terry Bartlett. Just briefly, he's obviously going off to hospital again uh, okay. for his wife's wife's dad. Then we've got Doug Miller at Woodspun Round, John S. Casting. Um, we've got Chris Dodds. Robert Dolman. We've got Lewis, the Klondike Craftsman. Hi, Lewis. Hello, Lewis. Uh, we've got Greg Alexander. And that's it at the moment. Get rid of that bit. I don't want to take... I want to part this off, really, because I don't want... these sides... To be damaged, you don't have to take it off. So this is going to fly. Turn it down a bit. See what we got. So look, nearly there. Just about where I want to be. Howdy, everybody. Yeah, Hope right. you're all right. Hi, Paul. Paul Hutton's in. Hi, Paul. Hello, Paul. Andrew from Wavy Woodshed's in. Good afternoon, Andrew. 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 Right. That gets rid of those bits. That's fair enough. That would frighten me to death trying to tackle that. No. All part of the fun, Joe. <laughs> Wood Wizardry by Colin. Let's come in. Hi, Colin. Hi, Colin. Right, so now we've got that done, I will now, so I'll take the tailstock back um, and just, I'll probably hollow it before I go down the outside because then I'll just take this elbow stabber out so we don't uh, get jammed. And uh, I will start to hollow out this piece. Thank you, Chris. Momento. Rex piece in. And uh, hello, Rex. Hi, Rex. Oh, God. Actually, sorry about this. There's a dent in this. This is a dent in this. I'm going to have to sharpen it. Won't be a sec. Do you like turning? When you come back, then? when you come back, Terry, if you change the camera, mate. Okay. Do you like turning uh, you, Pete? Yeah, it's great wood to turn. It's uh, it's always rewarding because you always get a nice colour, and it's it's easy to polish up. Right. Um. I think it looks well, lovely. I'm just going to change the camera. Both, both colours of the wood. Um, 
Robert from Hodgepodge has joined us, and Duncan can right, just going to, uh, there as well. I'm just going to start all the this out now. Good afternoon, gentlemen. I'm sure Glyn's got some uh, you. So. I think this word is a tiny bit wet, but uh, hopefully it will all the way all right. How do you yeah, tell? Rest all right. Rubber dub woods in. Afternoon, rubber dub. A rubber dub. This is wrong, Terry. In fact, you've got a different gauge here. That's better. Yeah, it's the other one now. Try the other one. Actually, it's quite turning quite nice, this. Let's have a, have a look. Yeah. Well, we'll carry on and see, see where we get. Brian's popped in. Good afternoon from the building site. Hi, Brian. Good afternoon from the building set, Brian. Copper Owl Wood Turnings joined us. Good afternoon, Copper. I think I'm coming to the end of, it won't be long now, I'll use it. I'm coming to the end of uh, those, well, I'm getting to the outside now, so I'll probably uh, turn the other, uh, I'll have, have a look in a minute, just turn the other side. It's really yellow it's inside. It's it's figured it out by now. They have now. Wow. They have now. <laughs> I think I think they have now, yeah. Do it with them. <laughs> Hello everyone. Where's the camera come? We're just messing with you. There's me. There's me. <laughs> We're both standing in for Brian. <laughs> Hi everyone. I'll go back here with me now. Because he knows what he's he knows what he's doing. I've made a mess of it. That's all right. <laughs> Did anybody guess? No. They're all no. transfixed on the turning. Right, let's have a look. Eh? See what we got. See what we've ruined. Oh no, that's fine. That's fine. There you go. Right. Thank you, Mark. Sorry about the deception, folks. Couldn't resist. Now, I'm right close to the edge here, so I'm going to um, let's put this light back again. The light fell off, and I walked around. I can go back and see what the chat's saying now. Not well, a lot. Crystal says you're scaring me, Terry. Yeah. Probably nobody there. <laughs> Rexby did mention two left hands. Um, and surprise guest. Notice how the two of us, though, it was only uh, Terry who had to catch, not me. Yeah, well. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> walking around the other side of the lane, they were, but you didn't even put the tool in. 
<laughs> Rex B says, Joe, when are you going to be a host? Oh, Rex, I, I can't turn, actually. I've had a lesson, but that's all I've had. Um, I want to get into wood turning and working with wood in various ways. So, you never know. Watch Potch is asking Hi. if uh, Terry and I, Terry and I, can have a sleepover tonight. No, we're not. <laughs> <laughs> Terry doesn't live that far from me. He's, he's only down in Plymouth. So uh, I thought I'd pop down, say hello. My wife, my wife don't like sharing me anyway, and I don't suppose Mark's friend will want to do the same. So. Although you never know. Um, when you're talking, Pete, I can't hear you very clearly. You me? No, Pete. Oh, no, no. no. Just Pete, I can't mark, quite hear. I'm in the house today because I've um, got my ankle in, so I can't stand up and work it. Oh, bless you. He's on his ankle and she can't talk very well. That would be great Oops, learning please. video if you had Mark R. Wayne instructing you. Well, as it happens... Lynn and I are doing a bit of a, a road tour um, in the next few weeks, visiting our wood turning friends, and they've offered to give me a couple of lessons. And between them, we're all going to give Joe so, a few lessons. Yeah. So patience, and I am shy. So, <clears throat> well, I'll be shy with the wood turning anyway. So. You've got to say, that's a lovely camera image you've got there, Terry. Lovely what, sorry? Camera image. The shape oh, good. Of the it makes it look as though it's running very slowly, so you get a beautiful ghosting there. Brian okay. from Harpwood says, thanks for covering, guys. He's off to do some work now. No problem, Brian. <laughs> Tell him he's a lazy toad. I'm going to say any time, Brian, because I would have been here anyway. Uh, would Wizardry by Colin has a question, Terry? Yeah. Um, since, he, he, since he doesn't do spindle turning, is it worth him getting a spindle gouge? Most of the things he turns are bulls and tea lights, etc. Yeah, you can hollow with a spindle gouge. That's what I use first of all, Colin. It is, wor it is worth it because some of, some of the... Um... I think it's, it's worth having at least one. Yeah, you know... Three-eighths three -eighths spindle gouge is a very versatile tool. Yeah, and you don't. You can use it to uh, hollow, shallow depths. You know, you don't have to be. It's a very good. So uh, what's the decoration on on um, smaller bowls and things? On the edge, but yeah, that's over the floor. What's about? Better go over it. Just check on the old boy, make sure he's all right. Yeah, oh. you can carry on, Mark, if you like. <laughs> Just get the stop switch for me, would you? <laughs> Look at that. All oh, right. So, I, <laughs> remote control underneath operation, eh? <laughs> right. There's my little bird's mouth. So I won't come out anymore there. That's good there. So I'll go right down now to the... Uh, We'll take it down a bit more, and then go down a little bit more. Um, you want to go? Uh, Why not? Your star, your oh, come on. You said you was going to do most of this. All I had to do was pretend I, I was staying. I, I, I said no such thing. This is your show. You said, let's pretend you're doing it, but you would do it. You heard me. He's lying. Not good enough. He's lying. I've gone back and sat in the corner. Rex B has got a question. He says he's just read the description and this doesn't look like a skew to me. Ah, uh, well, you can't can do it? the inside with a skew, can you? You can't hollow with a skew. Well, okay, here's a negative Rex paper, but it'll take hours. I was going to just do an ordinary goblet, Rex, but I couldn't find a suitable piece of wood, so I'm playing with this. 
However, if you get bored with it, I'll change. I'll get a goblet. Rubber the Wood says, "Is that a ring tool, Terry?" Uh, no, this is a this is the uh, the Simon Hopes professional, or say pro, hollowing tool. Know. This pro hollower with a six mil cutter. Mark's efficient enough. You might put the link in. It. I say a tiny little six mil cutter, which is absolutely amazing. It really it's does. Tiny, take, isn't it? You can take very light cuts, or you can take really aggressive cuts with such a tiny cutter. And yeah, I know it's a carbide, but to get down this far, it's, a carbide, isn't it? it's quite uh, quite difficult. Not difficult, but quite aggressive with a. A bowl gouge or a, spin, a spindle gouge probably wouldn't get down there anyway. Um, it's just too far off the tool rest. But this will hollow anything. How Let's much is it, Terry? Well, deep enough? Uh, I think, I'm not sure. I think it's £69, but I stand corrected on that. I'm That's not, not sure bad, what really, is it? Take oh, out there's the link. I've done the link. All right, Thank you, Mark. done it. Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Just look past the headstock. There I am, in my little hobbit corner. So you should be. Just trim this off a minute. I'll sand this this layer, <laughs> but I'll get this off so it doesn't uh, fly at me. For any of you that don't know Terry, he's actually a hobbit. Because I've walked in here and smacked my head on the ceiling about six times. Let's uh, let's just get this effectively right, shall we? I am five foot. Eight it used to be five foot nine, but as I got older, I've shrunk. So the wife said, and uh, mm -hmm. so I've set my workshop, and it's nine foot at the garage door end, and it's six foot. I don't know two, six foot one here. So a six foot one, I can walk by everything hanging up, and then old Lurch comes in. Start taking all the tools off the wall, off the, off, off the ceiling. <laughs> Ned, <laughs> give us a break, I said. Now, Rick, Rickspeed has asked, can they see a close-up of that tool? Yes, certainly, we will do. Let me, uh, let me just set this tool rest there a minute. Right, okay, I'll switch to this oh. camera and I'll give you a real close-up. <laughs> Rubber Dove Wood says, was she talking about your height when she said you'd shrunk? That's what, yeah, yeah no. probably not. That happens no, no. with age, apparently. That happens with age, yeah. Depends how far it stretches afterwards. Uh, right, where am I going? I'm going over to the drawer a minute because I've got another piece I want to show you as well. There we are. Right, time to hope. You know, Rex. Clean it up so you can see it right there. If you can, I'm not sure if it where it focuses to. So let me know if it. Stick your hand underneath it. the cutting bit. That's it. Okay. It's a cup, cupped carbide six millimeter cutter. Tiny little cupped carbide. This piece here comes out. Two screws. You, you get supplied with a spare cutter. Wow. At the time, and it's a rather nice. Allen key stroke, whatever. It's not an Allen key, there's a star key. Torx, Torx, wrench. But also, you can, an extra, purchase this. That one. And that yes. is the swan neck, which fits in said end. We're going in around hollow forms. It doesn't go that deep, of course, but it will go deep. It, it gets in around the corners. And, uh, I thought I would invest in it when I saw, I can't remember who I saw using it now. I think it was Ed Oliver. Because right, okay. with this, with this, you could take the two handles off. And when I take the handles off, if Mark's got Colin that handle spare, have you got that handle, Mark? Oh, yeah. You want to know how long is it? Because it's in the picture. Hang on. It's right, I'll, I'll, quite right. Long. I've taken the back handle off and I'll, I'll get a measure tape. I can find one. There it is. So the total length of the tool is, from tip to end, 22 inches. Okay. Not That's the total length. That's a blue. It needs to be red. About nine inches. You can, you can then get that 
All right, only you, only the red one. But yeah. we'll go on the end, which will make it three foot long. And you get the extra handle, which is the long handle, which make it four and a half feet long. Um, and Ed Oliver, go, that's where I saw it, Ed Oliver. He'll go down, he'll just hollow, 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 and he'll just go down and down and down and down and down. And he goes down 12 inches, maybe more, 18 inches. Right. And it just seems to be rock solid. So I've seen him use it, and I thought, well, that's got to be worth investing in it. So. Robert Dobbs asking if you can sharpen it. Oh, sorry, Joe, go on. No, no, go on. You carried, uh, you, you said most of it anyway. Um, Robert Dobbs asking, can it be sharpened on a card, or do you need to just replace the cutter? You can sharpen them a little. Well, it's not really sharpening; it's honing them with a card, with a diamond card. But they're never really the same afterwards. So you're just better better off just yeah. buying a replacement cutter. It's only a few quid. They're not their cheapest chips. And, and I think yeah. You know, the thing is, what you do is you undo it, and you turn it a quarter of a turn, and then it'll do a little bit more, and you turn it another quarter turn. I've had this one now right. since last November. And right. I haven't turned the cutter yet, and it's still razor sharp, really razor sharp. So I mean, I, I must admit I don't use it in a horrendous amount, but um, you know, if somebody using it every day, you probably use a well, say say you use a cutter a week. That's okay. Cutter a week is I think about ten pounds. So if you buy half a dozen cutters, you'll probably get a discount. So um, yeah, right. I was going to do something else. Right. Okay, let's. Ben Try and shake the outside in. of this thing. Afternoon, oh, Ben. It's too high. <laughs> right, what sort of shape should we have on this then, people? Oh. I'll get this bark off and then I'll... For, for whoever's, whoever was saying, Rex with it, I'll play with the scooters over here. Colin said, Dan, it's too long for my kid. <laughs> Actually, too long for a shed. <laughs> yeah. I've, I've got to apologise to uh, Pete and Joe because I'm not doing much in the way of earworming because I'm being really selfish. And uh, it's, not often I get to see, it's not often I get to stand and watch a woodturner in person. So uh, Are you I'm taking advantage. <laughs> I am. As famous he is. Let's see if I can get said skewing. Oh, we all know what it's like with lock with, with lockdown. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's yeah. nice to be able to stood be stood right. in a workshop with somebody, you know. This is your lesson, then, Mister. Oh, God, I knew he was going to do this. Okay, just make sure that doesn't hit that side there. Okay. I'm not going anywhere near your. I'm not going anywhere near your piece with a skew. <laughs> <laughs> said all will skew. We can use a flat one if you want. Right. Should we use the flat one or the old one? <laughs> Robert says Mark's probably one. sneaking around looking for some nice wood. Right. Actually, the tool rest needs to be a bit higher. Because when using a skew, if you're, say, new to it, but if you're not that confident with it, have the skew almost, the tool rest almost at the top of, top of the work. And you can place it on the work, drop it backwards, and just twist it in. in. I'll show you what I mean. All right. See, so it's rubbing on there now. Bring it back. Make sure this point doesn't go anywhere near the timber. Lift it up. And away you go. All right. When going towards the chuck, don't press too hard in case you slip. If you slip, you'll go into the chuck. I'm going to be that. Okay, one more go down. And I can tell you what, folks, he's making it look as ridiculously easy as he actually is in person, too. Peel it off. And you go backwards with it if you want that. And it'll cut backwards. Look at that. Forward. Backwards. Turn the speed up a bit. It'll cut better then. Martin at Woody's Creations just giving us a brief hello before he's back to work. And we've got Seth from Brickhouse Craftworks has joined us. Good afternoon, gentlemen.
So it's just being wet where it's sort of peeling it as well as slicing it off. Yeah. So when you're on normal tool rest height, put it on the work. It's trying to push it towards you, so you hold it where you need to. Bring it down. Find the bevel. It starts cutting that. Wow. Jennifer Strawson's in. Good afternoon, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. Hi, Jennifer. It's mad at his. And you're around the corner. Yeah. Add skills. Yeah. It's amazing to be stood here watching him do it. It's not a very long piece, so it can't, and it's got a bit of a knot there and a knot there, so it'll give a bit of a tear out, but never mind. It's got fun in it. Right, let's yes. try. And you can, in fact, do it with a big skew if you want. Inch and a half, width. Oh, wow. Not sharp. What's of that? She said. That's a big one, Terry. <laughs> we aim to please, Mark. Do you have a preference in which way you go with the skew? You know, Not left really. to right, right to left? No? No, I mean, change hands if you want. Do it that way. That's all. Oh. But you can't go really go up there, so I can't, I can't go up the neck. This way. Right. Maybe to go down the neck this way. Ooh, look at that. <clears throat> a little tip for anybody that wants to practice with a skew. If you take your parting tool and just cut yourself a groove about a quarter of half an inch from the chuck. Yeah. That gives you a nice secure stop point so you don't risk. Diving into the chuck, yeah. Fast. Hi, Seth. We are. For anyone that, that came in late and, and missed the little shenanigans, I'm actually here in the workshop with Terry. I'm, stood, I'm sat over in the corner watching him. <laughs> He's my runner. Well, what sort of shape do we want in this in team? What do you fancy? I can't really get in this bit. Narrow base, I think. Nice narrow base. Nice real sort of V like this. Yeah. I'll go back to the bull gauge a minute, unless anybody particularly wants me to do anything else. Still a bit. Lionel's joined us. Hello, Lionel. Hi, Lionel. <laughs> Welcome along. Hello. And Keith has Keith. joined us. Hi, Keith. Evening, good afternoon, Keith. What about suggesting that Mark should be sweeping up as you go? That's a good idea. I don't sweep up in my own workshop. It makes you think I'm going to sweep up in his. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you've got to make yourself useful while you're there. Rubber Dub Woods having to go. He's got to get back to work. Says goodbye. Bye, Rubber Dub. Bye, Rubber Dub. I will make myself useful. If he needs his medication, I'll go get it for him. <laughs> <laughs> He's cheeky, isn't he? <laughs> Wonderful. I think I've got a knot there. It's playing up. It's a bit like the World Cup, without the um, ball yeah. on the top. Looking a bit nice. Oh, yeah. Colours lovely, isn't it? I don't think I'll get a good cut coming down here with a skew, but I'll see. Oh, he's got all the toys in here. Table saw. Thickness are planar. 
How big is your car? Pencil. Mark. Spindle motor. Spindle motor. Yeah, you can take that. You won't notice this. Compound motor. Mortis motor machine. Mortis the, machine. Katachi thing here next to me. I don't know what that is. <laughs> Jennifer, no, um, I live in North Cornwall, in Butte. Terry lives in Plymouth. It's literally just, it took me an hour to get here. But that was only because traffic was bad. Nice ride out. Normally 40 minutes. In the winter, it's a 20 hour drive in the summer, it could be up to two hours. Question there from Colin. Yeah. Who's going to replace Wayne for the lunchtime lives? You've got a bit of an announcement, haven't you, Terry? Yeah. Um, well, because Wayne mentioned yesterday in his live that he isn't doing any more lives that he thinks of, but certainly he said he's not doing any more lunchtime lives, then uh, I shall fill in with Mondays, I think. One o'clock Mondays. If That's anybody's fine. interested, if they're not, well, I won't see you. But if you are, I'm quite happy to... Come and give you guys something to talk about, or talk to, because it's nice if, uh, you know, or he's not doing any more lives, that's fine, but what else, What are the rest of us going to do? So it'd be nice, really, if we could. Yeah. I'm liking that, Terry. Even if you just come in, just come into the live to chat to your mates online. That's, uh, yeah. you know, I don't mind if you don't watch a turn in, that's fine. Just gonna trim that piece off there. He's asking, the is anybody on after Terry? I don't I don't think there's anyone else on this after afternoon. After today, Keith. All oh, right, okay. Scott's on tonight. And then um Rich is doing an invade. Would well, you want me to stay on all afternoon, Keith? Is that right? Is that what you're asking or because I don't think I can cope with that. And and we got, we got a, a damn he didn't know about Wayne and was there a reason? No, he just announced it at the very, very end of his live last night. Yeah, it shocked m most of us. So, yep. I think that's not too bad, is it? Don't it do it. What I'm going to do yeah, with the rest of it. He's been doing three lives a three, week. Three, week. three lives a week is a lot. No, uh, for over a year, that's, that's yeah. a lot of work, a lot of commitment. So, you, it is. I've got to give the guy a break. Yeah. We worked out last night, plus including prep time, pre-earworming time for me and earworms for Steve and Scott and Rich. He's probably doing 10 or 15 hours a week just on YouTube. He's been yeah. doing that solid That's for a lot, every man. year. Mm. It's a lot, yeah. so, you know. It's if not he wants that to have a break, break really, either, is it? Just, just let him have a break, yeah. Uh, Doug Miller... Uh, said that he'll be here online with you, Terry. Thank you, Doug. See you Monday then, Doug. You yeah, could be my only person, then uh, you could be here with me then, Doug. If nobody else wants to join me, but I really don't Colin, mind. I should just have fun in the workshop, so you know. He's um, Colin. He's undecided about the Wednesday night. He might just be um, stopping lives altogether for a while. Which is a shame. Yep. I shall miss him. And the rest of them will too, I know. It's not... Uh, right. That's that, really. What do I do with that now, is it? Do I need to bother to sound it? Keith's okay, saying, so, you know, if that's the case, he's going to do a spider on the ceiling live at about 2.15. Today? Oh, uh, yeah. Okay, Keith, you no problem. That, no pressure for me to finish then. <laughs> Robert's saying the shape of the piece that you've got there, Terry, makes him want to have a beer. <laughs> yeah, well, yeah, that's a good one. I'll just get a little sand. I'm not uh, not Yorkshire gritting this because of these wings flying around here. Look. Just going to sand it up a little bit. And, uh, <clears throat> that's got nothing to do with my singing, has it, Terry? No. But as Mark said before we started this, if you grit that, you know, Drew's going to have to sing. I said, no, sorry, I won't grit it. Um, I never, I never, I never said any such thing, you lying little hobbit. In fact, Brian, <laughs> in fact, Brian, Brian came in earlier just to say thanks very much for doing this, and he said, uh, he said, what time? What you ring you standing? Brian, Brian did say he was going to go. Yeah, you see. He said oh, I might try and get in on the phone, but I'll leave it till maybe quarter two because you'll have finished singing by then. 
They did say, uh, Brian, Brian did say he had to go. Well, you know, I mean, I'm not telling tales at school, aren't, you know, as it is, is as it is, man. <laughs> oh, dear. My nana do just for, just for demonstration for purposes. Just well, got the link to the Circular Wood by Keith's channel. He hasn't got the, the um, actual video up yet. But half past right. two, that channel should get you there. Well on, Keith. Let me do something. If oh, you I'll like what this up, Ter Terry's doing, consider else, pressing the thumbs up button um, just to say that you like it and possibly um, subscribing to his channel as well. And it's 1.35, Terry. But let's, yeah, a, but to be uh, honest, I'm, I don't mind if you don't like it because, you know, I'm not being rude, but um, I enjoy this. I love it. So just take the number. You for yourself, don't you? I'll do it for myself. And if you can get some enjoyment out of it by watching me, great. And there we are, it's just up the level off the bottom. Terry, does that mean you're the second oldest wood turner in the world? Second what? Second oldest, second wood oldest. Turner in the world. Probably. <laughs> now, team, I'll just give you a sort of look at that. Um, let's change this camera over to that other one. And I'll fill in the rest of the few minutes with someone else. Maybe I'll play with Skew. <sighs> Satisfy Rex. There you are. One little hollow form. Take a big egg cup, maybe. That's very pretty. Turn a sphere and put the sphere in there. You know. Yeah. Now, Seth that? says. Thank you for turning that, Mark. <laughs> Before you say I've that, Joe, I think he's become very frightened of you and he's trying to creep. Who is? Oh. Seth. I'd ra Seth says, I've got to say this. I'd rather hear Joe sing than any of you other blokes. Just saying, lol. Is there a now, blocking mechanism on this, this, this thing, this program? <laughs> you stop people coming in. Is there a sort of, some sort of blocking lesson? Blocking ah. lever. You just press block. Seth, go. Seth, I know what you mean. You've got a creep now and again. Oh, what? Entertain me. And Mark's in here now. That's saying entertain me. Let's just drop that there. Find myself a bit of timber now. Entertain me. What shall I do? Um, yeah. Make a ball. Turn a sphere out of that. And he says, no, turn a sphere out of that. It's a piece of random word. Like, it just made me pick up. And he wants me to turn a sphere. <laughs> Christ. What time we got? We only got oh, and he got we twenty got minutes. Plenty. Not even uh, that. Not with the time. Oh, you've got loads it. of time. Oh God. Is that stealing? <laughs> I wasn't going to do anything. I was going to finish there. Get rid of this off the screen. I can see the chat then. Is that the other camera or this camera? Don't if know. you do it between you, I'll go do you twice as quick. Do you want that's that camera fine. on? Yeah, that's fine. Uh -huh. Oh, just come with it. Just get on there. <laughs> is he bossing you around, Terry? It's no good. Sir. Yeah, he is. I don't mind. Middle of the road. Well, we're we going to need a chance to get around there, so we'll probably have to have a spear there. I'll be in the middle, can't it? He's getting after it now. Steve Fleming has joined us. Apologises for being late. <laughs> and Terry Cooper. You did that on purpose. You, got... hey? you did that on purpose. <laughs> just... Well, he moved behind me. <laughs> Actually, this, this gouge is getting blunted. Serious. It's all right on this side, but it's blunt on this side. Dodd says the odd couple comes to mind for some reason. 
<laughs> the odd couple. Jack Clubman, yeah. I'm He's sure going to do a sphere him. with a skew. Good kick him, I am. <laughs> Doug Miller saying, have you got an overhead camera? Yes, I believe. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Sorry, Doug, yeah, you couldn't see it, could you? Can we do the same, go back to this view? What's that? Yeah, that's not concentrating, no. Do you have time for the catch? Yeah, we all get them, I don't care. Still works. I'm trying to think of the form, watch the form I'm doing. Not far. Can you change camera or you do that, that angle? It's this, um... Mark, right, switch the camera. That's it. It's an apple, Pete. Takes forever. There's shine on that wood just off the tool. Yeah. yeah. I can't get down there now. That's it. That's it. No. Doesn't like it. Like yeah, I say, this, this, this wood is, this, it splits. And it's got a crack in it as well, so I might be knocking the crack. Yeah. There's two cracks in it, and it's splitting. Never mind, we can carry on. Ball gouge. Ball gouge. Level it out. the overhead camera again please yep. Bit high, just there. Yeah. yeah. That's better. Yeah, carry on with that all the way around. Chris Dalton said, "Taxi to the swear word you thought you forgot." <laughs> Don't have to use the I'm going to quick sharp. Better. Tell you what, folks, I'm a bit worried. I just noticed he's got a stethoscope hanging on the wall. Why do you have a stethoscope? That stethoscope is for listening to any noises in any engines. Okay. What you do, it's got a long thing on oh, it. I see. Right. Just, just, just leaving now. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is serious. That's what it's for, but, you know. I know.
Nearly. I can yeah. get this one. Nicely done. Change the camera, Mark. Because it's like i got to work for a living. Yeah. Like the old lady says, don't you keep a, keep a dog and bark yourself, do you? Ah! That's not concentrating again, it's talking. No, can't do it with this either. I'm in a bad position. Try that one. Concentrate. What are you eating, Joe? What, oh, sorry? <laughs> what are you eating? Because don't forget, I can see you. Nah, I can't do it. <laughs> yeah, go on, look at Terry's screen. Not the best way to do this, on, but there we are. Well, if you go the other way, change the camera. Go back the other way, can you? Oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't it. Lawrence Bagages joined us. Hi, everyone. Hello, Hello, Lawrence. Are oh, you eating uh, Glenn Spam sandwich, are you? Yeah. I'm Joanne. I'm Joanne. I'm guilty of eating Glyn Spam sandwiches. Too big a piece there. Turn a bit off. Ben, now they're, they're locked into arms. Too much trouble to move them. You know what my shaky hands hold in the camera? will be seasick. Crystal, does that's what are the rubber gloves for then? might mean your chagrin. I'm only filling in to tell Keith on, but you know, just uh, we won't have time to do the Yorkshire Grit song, will we? No, <laughs> no time for the song. Respect out, respect out, there it is. Isn't that wood like mahogany or? Yeah, it's a peely. Yeah, it's a peely. Oh, it's a peely. I did say it's a peely earlier on. It's dusty. And I forgot to put the thing on because I'm in a rush. But actually, you didn't need to remember that too because Mark's there. He should have done it. Yeah, he should have, shouldn't he? It turns well, but it does have. It does. It, it tends to split. You know, it tends to um, not split. It gives off chunks. The grain's fine, but if you get a weak spot in it, it's got two splits in this. Then. Uh... Chris yeah. got saying right, when I finish like sanding this, this I'll. When I finish sanding this, I'll I'll leave my um. Subordinate to uh, seal it and grit it. <laughs> oh, I want to plow work. Just take that down slightly. Oh, 
less to finish off afterwards. Just a little bit there, I think. A little nub. No bet. Now, Chris Dodson says you look like you've done this before, Terry. Nah, first time. Never used a skew before. First, that's the first day we're turning. Mark's just give me a lesson. <laughs> I can, I can, yes, I can confirm. He's caressing my ball now. His ball is very smooth. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say, don't you? No. Would we know that? I love, I love balls. You love wooden balls. You like that, do you? Josephine? Yeah, I, I, I just like balls. I like it. Doesn't matter what size they are. That's where I got a catch. Can't be bothered with it. I can't be bothered. I've got to get finished before Keith's here. It was only a bit of fun. There's that. So I'm doing the Yorkshire Grid as well, am I? Yeah, I'm going to okay. do that, eh? Come on. It's all I'm right. not going to be responsible for Joe singing. Oh. Right. <laughs> So, apply liberally. So you're not paying for it in March, not is mine. Yeah, I'm, yeah. Actually, it's not mine, it's this. <laughs> Generally, speed down. My way or three. your way, Mark? Do it your way. People I like it. it. My way. Hands that feel pity can be oh. soft as your face. Oh, it sends me into ecstasy. Brown. Yorkshire Gritty. Well done. Work the grit in. Well, you're 300 RPM. 27 thumbs down for some reason. Oh, get lost. That's all right. We don't mind. <laughs> Just watch this. Work it in for a couple Gaff's of minutes. Wood... <laughs> Gav Sadeh Woodwork has joined us. Good afternoon, Gav. Very good. Oh, he's got... He's, he's gone and sat over in my chair. Well, I'm earworming now. <laughs> I'm earworming. <laughs> You're working, not me. <laughs> I keep banging my head on the ceiling. Good afternoon, guys. So once the grid's worked in, bring the speed up. Clean piece of paper. Of course, Brian's not watching, so there's no point mentioning you could actually turn that speed down to 150 if you wanted to. I've never done that, Ben. I've never gotten stuck. No. Oh, we like what Mark's done today. <laughs> and Andrew says next door's dog started owling. I'll take it. That's because Joe was singing. Tell you, what, oh. tell you what, else, oh. what else I can see. I'll tell you what else I can see on the wall here, people. It's a set of vernier gauges. He's going to be using those soon when he does a thin wall ch challenge. Thin rim challenge. Yeah. I might not be able to do that now. Now I've got to be a responsible worker and come in on Mondays. Just change the paper to get a clean bit. Keep working it till the paper comes away clean from the piece. See? Yorkshire Grid staff here. Working it backwards and forwards. There we go. What finish are we putting on this then? Putting a finish on? Yeah, if you want. What have you got? That's a shame. It's gone that far, so you might as well. There's, oh, there's no screw. Oh, yes, sir. I'll use a skew instead. <laughs> See, my glamorous assistant's walked away. It's a short show. I'm not doing this. Oh, it's just you, I mean, that's all. I'm back. I'm back. What have we done? No. Bit of am shame. High gloss. High gloss. Food. Toy safe. Cook, cooking on gloss. <laughs> <laughs> Mark, Mark has said, I think Terry is an amazing turner. He is. He's an awesome teacher as well. He ain't taught me anything yet today, but he's an awesome teacher. I told him to keep away from my <laughs> workshop. 
You actually said that in the chat, Mark. I'm an awesome turner. Well done. <laughs> Gonna see what kind of furniture maker you are this afternoon. <laughs> this one I Ben Benjamin's suggesting that you highlight the couch with some embellishing wax. Is I'm gone. Not here anyway. You ain't got enough balancing wax for that catches. Four or five. No. Yeah. That was my that was my interpretation of a screw thread. See? I thought I'd uh, put a two or two a three thread thing on it. Would you put the lids? Yeah. Yeah. Here. So I know it me if I don't put the lid on this, he'll end up filling my Yorkshire sure grit with sawdust just for a laugh. Then I'll come back and that'll be it. Have to drop the rest of it, will you? Yes, boss. That's it. How part did you catch it? I'll wait your ball. earliest. Don't scratch it. Don't scratch it. I better not do a Steve and drop it. Thank you. Can I go back here one minute again now? Yeah. Wow. God, Steve, drop it. Just take this off a sec. This little nub at the bottom. Just to make it look. No, it won't look anything. Make it. There, get rid of that lump. <laughs> Lewis is saying Terry is a very good turner, but he needs to vet the characters uh, that are allowed in his shop. I wasn't going to say that, Lewis, because he's about he's six inches taller than me and twice the size. So just to let people know, uh, that was done by I. And yeah, I did get a couple of catches, but there you go. Very nice. So I'm just amazed that you know, you've turned that ball freehand. Would that be a good way for a learner form. to practice their um, tool control? Yes, fear is a good, for, good practice for very good. dimension, form, tool control. Hope oh, that's okay. Can you see that all right? Yeah, yeah absolutely. Very nice. There we are. It's art if you say it's art. <laughs> Just a bit of fun. A bit of art. Arty farty. Going to bin in the minute. But no, there we are. Mark's messed it up, parting it off. Oh, never mind. <laughs> Jennifer was waving <laughs> at me. Hello. Hodgepodge is actually saying. Right, team. As I'm, well. I'm just going to bring my earworms back in. And I'm just going to change go camera. In camera there. Click that one. Click that one. Click that one. And, and say. Thank you very much for joining us today. We've had a ball. I hope you've enjoyed it. And if you haven't, may not see you again. But if I, if you have enjoyed it, may I see you on Monday, one o'clock. Terry's doing a live. Bye for now. Say bye bye. Bye bye. Bye bye, Say bye, -bye worms. Bye. Uh, click that button.